Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday's exciting instalment of the blog from the bog. It's the 27th of March, about half past 10 in the morning. Um, I'm going to talk about one thing very briefly because it's on the news this morning, which is um, the government's latest advice about moving house. Um, obviously, people who are moving house, if they've already exchanged contracts and there are um, removals booked and things like that, uh, it's uh, difficult at the moment, especially with the government's latest advice on social distancing. What we're recommending is that you try and negotiate what we're calling the coronavirus rider, which is basically a variation to the contract. Um, so you agree it up and down the chain and um, hopefully uh, everyone will take a sensible view and just say, look, we're going to stay bound into the contract, but we'll just complete when all the um, crisis restrictions are lifted and when we can actually physically move home properly. Um, the alternative is that the contract is cancelled because it can't really properly be argued that this isn't what's called a frustrating event and um, frustrating in the legal sense, not just in the like, irritating sense. Um, it's, it's clearly something which is happening now in this country which would justify cancellation of the contract. So that's the alternative. So you either cancel the contract and basically walk away as if it never happened um, or um, you, you try and negotiate a, um, uh, a variation to the contract to, to move after this is all over. So that, that's, I just wanted to raise that briefly. Um, but the, the main purpose of the uh, blog today is to talk about the um, scheme for supporting self-employed and freelancers. So the Chancellor Rishi Sunak uh, made the announcement last night and the updated, more detailed guidance is now on the gov.uk website. The principle is good, um, which is that um, if you're self-employed, you should be entitled to uh, an 80% grant from the government based upon your uh, net earnings, uh, which is great. Slight flaw in the plan um, is that uh, they're going to base it on people who've done a tax return for the 18 to 19 tax year, that is you had to have been trading as of the 5th of April 2019 and submitted a tax return by the end of January this year. Um, if you've traded for three years before then, then they'll average out your 80% over those three years based on your net profits. Um, if you only had one or two years, they'll average it out appropriately on that basis. Um, and there it's going to be capped at £2,500 per month, and it's going to last for three months initially, so for March, April and May. Um, they are going to be looking to pay it um, uh, as a, a single lump sum. Um, now we get to the first downside, which is that the grant isn't going to be paid until June. So if you're self-employed and you've got no money coming in now, you're not going to have any money coming in until June. So they haven't said how you're going to deal with that. They're suggesting that you might be able to uh, apply for universal credit, but if anyone has ever tried applying for universal credit, it's um, almost impossible, it takes forever. And if you've got someone living in the house who's working or you've got a couple of thousand quid saved up or whatever, you may not qualify anyway. So that's the first downside, which is that you're not gonna get any money till June. The second downside is that um, if you uh, only started trading after the 6th of April, 2019, you don't qualify at all. So you might have been employed before that. And now, you know, you started trading in May last year, you don't get anything. Uh, that is a real problem for some people. The next issue um, we get to in terms of uh, your, your freelance and all that is that um, even if you started trading from the 6th of April last year, 6th of April 19, and you would normally have submitted your tax returns um, with the year ended um, 5th of April this year, in a uh, week or so's time, you can't claim anywhere. It doesn't matter. But if you should have submitted your tax return back in January for last year, the Chancellor's actually giving you four weeks to put in a late return and still qualify. So the advice is, first of all, if you haven't yet submitted last year's tax return, you need to do it urgently. Don't wait for the four weeks to expire. Do it urgently. Speak to your accountants. If you haven't got accountants, go and find an accountant who can do it for you. I've spoken to a couple of local accountants, Sperling Cannon, um, up at uh, Westwood Cross, 
um, Harry Kemp, uh, just down the road from us in Broad says High Street here. Both of them have said they've got capacity, they've got staff working, they will be able to help you. Um, and if you haven't got the money to pay them now, because you need the money when you get your grant from the government, they've also said they will do what they can to help you and talk about like delayed fees and things like that. So don't worry about not being able to pay them to do your return now. It's more important you get your return in and you've got four weeks, but don't leave it four weeks. Um, another issue we're going to have is people who are partly self-employed and partly not. Um, you've got to be earning less than £50,000 a year self-employed to qualify under the scheme. You've also, if you've got a part and part basis where you do part employed work, part self-employed work, your self-employed work has to account for more than half of your total income, your total work. Um, so that is it really in a nutshell. Um, it is problematic, at least it's something, um, but uh, it's not ideal and there are going to be a lot of people who miss out. So um, hopefully some more positive news uh, after the weekend. So signing off for now and I'll catch up with you later.